How do you make a person? The human body is made up of a huge array of structures, each made up of billions or even trillions of cells. So how do these cells know how to organize themselves in such complex forms? Must be DNA then, right? Deoxyribonucleic acid, the genetic code of all life which determines every trait of a living organism. There must be an assembly manual in there somewhere, right? Well, no actually. DNA is a long, segmented recipe that your cells follow to make proteins like enzymes and antibodies. There is no information in your genes that tell cells to form an arm, a brain, or an eye. So who is telling your cells to do that? To find the culprit of this phenomenon, scientists at Tufts University found that if they rearranged the parts in a frog tadpole, they would find their way back to their designated spot. This means that they're not following a specific sequence of movement to get there. The reason for this is that an organism's cells also follow a whole different code, bioelectric code. Cells have been communicating with electric signals before even neurons evolved into existence. This is why all the cells in your body, not just neurons, are able to communicate this way. Here's a tadpole stained with a voltage sensitive dye. The cells are telling each other what to make and where to make it. The lower voltage areas might be signaling that a tail has to be there and the higher voltage areas might be where a heart is being made. These electric patterns represent and store structures in the same way that the brain stores memories. But it gets even weirder when animals regenerate limbs. If you cut the arm off an axolotl, a regenerating salamander, and put a tail where the arm used to be, the tail will slowly morph into an arm as the bioelectric signals tell the cells that an arm is meant to be there, not a tail. Just like with genetics, scientists scrambled to find a way to modify this code shortly after it was discovered. By using certain drugs to manipulate ion channels, scientists can now edit this code and accomplish incredible tasks. Some changed the voltage gradient in a frog's back so that an eye would grow there. Surely enough, an eye was generated where the signals changed, but the weird part is, the whole body adjusted to ensure that the eye worked. The frog could see with the eye in its back. Okay, you might be wondering, why do I care about a three-eyed frog? Well, scientists have been working hard on something even cooler, and the results are electrifying. Frogs are beings that are not capable of regenerating limbs. However, with a bit of bioelectric tinkering, scientists have induced limb regeneration in frogs. To recap, cells communicate using voltage gradients created by ions passing through their membrane in order to form large-scale structures such as limbs and organs in the same way that neurons in the brain form memories. By manipulating this bioelectric network, scientists have been able to change the morphology of animals and even induce limb regeneration. This could lead to huge advancements in regenerative medicine and really deepen our understanding of how the body works. One thing's for sure, our bodies are smarter than we think.